Oh my gosh. Ugh. That's why you need that good clean feel, baby. The giant can come up and snuff your buzz bait at any given moment. Oh, yeah. Ugh. That's awesome. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Oliver Nye. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on more tackle breakdown videos like this one that we're gonna go over today. And I'm gonna show you guys my setup, uh, some different baits, and little key features on this tackle breakdown on how I like to fish one of my favorite types of topwater baits to catch bass throughout the country. I really love throwing a buzz bait around the shallow cover, around the middle spawn into post spawn, and trigger some aggressive topwater strikes. It is a lot of fun. It's a great way to cover water. I'm on my home lake here, but I haven't been here in over three months, so totally different from the last time I was here. So utilizing a buzz bait to cover water and try to figure out where these fish are positioning and setting up will allow me to continue to catch them other ways. There's some key features in this tackle that make me uber efficient when I'm fishing this buzz bait. Now let me talk about the buzz baits themselves and I've actually got two different buzz baits here and this is a Nichols Impulse buzz bait and this is a Nichols Reflex buzz bait. Now what's the big difference between the two? Well, if you notice with this impulse, that blade is not making any contact with the wire arm or the head, so it's a lot more subtle. And there are times when fish uh, prefer that subtle sound, uh, whether it's pressure or their aggression level, or if maybe they're actually up feeding on bait fish, I'm gonna start with that impulse, okay? However, there are times when the, the reflex is the deal and if you actually notice here on the head you'll see where this blade actually makes contact with the head of the buzz bait and that adds that clacking sound clack 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 really obnoxious uh, really great at triggering pissed off angry territorial bites now I feel like most of my buzz bait fishing is targeting pissed off angry fish it's not really my go-to when I see fish feeding on bait fish. I like a popper or a walking bait or even like a soft plastic jerk bait in those scenarios if I'm actually trying to mimic prey that they're feeding on. But when I'm actually just trying to coax a reaction bite, I love throwing a buzz bait. And you'll notice another key feature on both of these buzz baits actually is the use of a trailer. Now, I've noticed a, a lot of people have actually for, foregone the actual skirted portion of the buzz baits. They'll actually remove the skirts and fish just a body, whether that's a, a toad style double tail uh, bait or in this case, a four inch swim bait. And I have found that I actually like utilizing the skirt and the plastic trailer for a couple reasons. Number one is profile. This obviously creates a much larger profile, displaces even that much more water. And I am a firm believer that baits that displace a lot of water, create a lot of presence, will attract bigger bites. Oh, I crushed it off the wall. Oh my gosh. Uh, I love this. Steep rock bank, great ambush points. Loud, obnoxious buzz bait. Just triggering reaction bites. Look at that. started man because of the current trends of guys either fishing just the skirt or just the body I don't really think these fish are seeing this combination as much so this is another way to kind of stay ahead of the curve or behind the curve just to show these highly pressured fish something else my home lake those of you guys that know it gets pretty pretty hammered and even when it's fishing good it's fishing tough 
this is a tough place to catch fish. Uh, and that, that's why I love coming back here because it keeps me sharp. It, it lets me focus in on finding, tuning the subtle details that will hopefully make the difference between triggering a bite or not. The four inch swim bait trailer I'm using today is actually an X-Zone four inch swammer. And this is a snow white color. And both of these baits today have been getting bit. Uh, white is a hard color to beat. Today we've got nice overcast morning. A uh, little bit of a algae bloom going on in this water. So there's a, a green tint to it. We got maybe about a foot of visibility. So white is a great color. Chartreuse and white is a, a great color if you've got that stain water. And black is also a staple color of mine. But I didn't have to go to it today. White got it done. All right. And you guys are going to notice here, I've got it tied to a 23 0.6 pound fluorocarbon leader and this is defiant shock leader 100% fluorocarbon and You guys might be wondering like why you got a leader on a buzz bait? Well, the reason is because if I were to tie it to the, straight to the braid and this braid is defiant 70 pound uh, smooth casting braid that braid is so limp that throughout the, the morning or the day fishing Occasionally that that braid's just gonna get caught up in the blades around the arm It's just gonna foul the bait more often than this super stiff fluorocarbon leader material That's why I prefer it. I'm not too worried about fish seeing the leader. That's why I go pretty heavy 23 is actually kind of on the light side for me uh, Typically, I'm actually fishing 28.9 even 35 pounds but it's a short section of leader, and, and the main purpose of that is just to keep that bait from fouling. So almost every cast that I'm making is a true cast, and that bait's swimming through that small pocket, that small target, effectively. And that's just going to up my odds of getting bites, converting those bites, and landing them. Oh, like that. Skipping a buzz bait right through that wood. Oh, come on, get out of there. Oh, that was so sick. The old skip bite. Oh, that's another good one, man. Gosh, I love this. Give me a like if you guys appreciate that cast. Oh, yeah. Look at this beauty. That was freaking awesome. Look at that. Right in the noggin, right in the schnoz. Look at that, guys. Just winding through the bite. Really key. I just went in the box for a second. That was too cool. Too cool. So, I talked about the line a little bit. Defiant 23.6 pound shock leader here. Alberto knot to 70 pound defiant smooth casting braid. And on the business end of the deal, I've actually got it 13 Concept C2. Now, this is the first day I've actually fished this reel. And I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. Like, this thing is badass. Okay, and I picked the eight three to one gear ratio because of the rate of cast that I'm making, uh, the, the rate of retrieval. It's making my life that much easier. I can get that bait moving before it even hits the water, getting those blades turning and making sure that I'm maximizing the full length of my cast and, and maintaining that high percentage strike zone. Okay, you're gonna work even a little bit harder even with a seven to one or six to one never want to use a five to one for for a bait like a buzz bait where you're making long casts fast casts short casts lots of casts okay this thing's got an incredible amount of drags nine bearings uh, it's been an absolute joy to fish and i'm now ambidextrous and able to use both left and right hand retrieve reels but back in the day i was righty only and if you are right hand dominant it is nice to use a left-handed reel for an application like buzzbait fishing because i can make those casts turn the handle and be instantly in gear i mean there's just so many times where that bait's going to enter the water and you before you can even really wind twice a fish has got it so being able to minimize the amount of time between the delivery of the bait 
and engaging the reel and penetrating that hook into their face is key. So fast gear ratio is the deal here. And I'm fishing a 13 Omen black rod. That's a seven foot six model, medium heavy. So why seven six? Well, even in this tiny Dream Machine 1.0, I can make short precision deliveries and short roll casts to isolated targets here. But when I get off the bank and I'm fishing over flats, that seven foot six length also allows me to make pretty long bomb casts with this reel. So I've kind of got the best of both worlds. And with anything with a single hook, I prefer a medium heavy to a heavy and fast tapered rod between the no stretch smooth casting braid and the short section of low stretch fluorocarbon, I can actually penetrate that, that beautiful hook right into their face by just continuing to wind through the bites. And once in a while, I'll still get startled by one of these topwater bites and I'll kind of pull the bait away from those fish. You want to refrain from doing that. Really focus and build good muscle memory by just winding through the bites, especially if you're getting short bit. All right, small mouth especially, spots, they'll miss that buzz bait initially, but if you just maintain that pace and that cadence, like they're gonna come back more often than not. And when they eat it, man, they, they pretty much hook themselves. Oh. It's way more effective than any kind of hook setting or sweeping or any of those motions. Just wind through the bite and when you can feel them through the reel, go ahead and turn and fully penetrate that hook, keep them low. It's uh, been really effective for me over the years. Now, there are times when these fish will short strike this bait. Uh, I'll use something like a BKK spinnerbait trailer hook at times, but I'm gonna let those fish determine whether or not I'm gonna put that trailer hook because I do like fishing a buzz bait stock when I can because it can come through a lot of this shallow, gnarly cover that much better. And if they're aggressive, like I hope they are, and eating this thing the right way, you don't need that trailer hook. Uh, they, they get that bad boy. I mean, I've caught three or four fish on this point already today and it is sticky, sticky sharp. <laughs> I love fishing a Busby. That's why you need that good clean feel, baby. The giant can come up and snuff your buzz bait at any given moment. That's awesome. <laughs> ah, that's a nice fish. Oh, why don't you use the net? God, I love when they eat a buzzbait like that. That was a sick bite. If you guys haven't tried buzzbait fishing, give it a try. Pick it up. We'll, we'll leave links in the description below. Uh, we do use affiliate links, so anytime you guys make a purchase through those links in the description, it helps support the channel. We appreciate you guys. We're excited to have Nichols, X Zone, Defiant, and Fishing 13 as brand partners uh, from here going forward. So appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'm wishing you ginormous buzzbait dreams.